another episode of motorcycle rewind today we have one of my bucket list motorcycles really happy about this i think it's one of the most iconic motorcycles ever made now that may be up for debate and all that next on motorcycle rewind that's it guys a 1965 Vespa 150. Pretty amazing. It's not mine. It's a friend of mine that needs, hasn't ran in a year or so and needs a little service before the season. So I'm just going to give it a good once over, but I get to scratch my Vespa itch, if you will. And this guy is incredible. Uh, what I believe to be one of the most iconic motorcycles ever made. 1946 these things came out after the war and the roads were decimated so Piaggio said hey let's go ahead and make a scooter it wasn't until 1952 that they really blew up when the movie Roman Holiday came out with Audrey Hepburn and Gregory Peck riding on one of these changed everything now like I said one of my bucket list motorcycles is a Vespa, but not this version. Mine is a Sears Allstate version. Basically the same, basically the same scooter. But the thing is, is that Sears had so much stroke. Sears had so much power that they told Vespa that, oh, by the way, if you want to sell Vespas in the Sears and Robot catalog, you got to call it Allstate. Say, oh yeah, we'll sell it, but you got to name it what we want to name it. And so, this Vespa, really cool, 1965. We're gonna kinda go over the whole thing and I'll show you around so you can see it. It is a twist shift clutch here on the left. If you're not familiar with it, four speed, one, two, three, and four. All you do is click and rotate, click and rotate. Right here, brake on the other side, your other controls, speedo in the middle. The really cool thing about the Vespa that I really appreciate is the engine is all hidden under here right on the rear wheel so there's it's all back here right up on top of it and it's so well designed kickstart lever here foot brake right here and it's it's so well designed so let's take this sucker for a ride there we go got some juice in it let me turn you guys up now If you've never ridden one of these, you kind of have to ride it because the riding position is, is, is really hands to knees. So again, right here, all I'm going to do is twist and click in the first and then let off the clutch. And the same thing going to second. Uh oh, find the gear. And we're just going to Take this like on down the road. Again, we're just in the neighborhood. We're not going anywhere. But we will feed, feed it the beans. And then the shift. How much more fun can this be? Right? And like I said before, this is part of what I believe, in my opinion, what's it worth, right? Um, but what I believe to be one of the most iconic motorcycles uh, ever made, only because you can't find anybody that doesn't like them, right? You can't find anybody that says, oh, I don't like it. Even people that, that will act publicly, like they don't, act in public, like they don't like it, you park one in their driveway, they're gonna sit outside and stare at it for a bit. Right? They're not going to run outside and kick it over. So it's it, it's just incredible, you know, to be able to to go ahead and ride this thing. It the uh, it does cast a pretty funny shadow, though, if you get a chance to see that. And it's got plenty of spunk. You know, I know my wife uh, loves these thinks they're super cute, which they are. 
come on, they have the have the best horn in the world, right? But but that's kind of what you're after, you know? It's it puts a smile on people's faces. It's what it should be, right? It's I, I think the the best button. I think the other reason why I think it, it's one of the most iconic motorcycles in the world is it it made motorcycles approachable, right? It made motorcycles approachable. Anybody could ride one, right? It it didn't have to be like if if prior to prior to they became really popular. If you heard of a herd of motorcycles coming your way, it's like hide the women and children, right? But now you have a herd of Vespas swimming by, you're not going to be too, too intimidated, right? So people could approach motorcycles. It's a very, a very entry level motorcycle. You still have to shift. It, uh, it's a little different than, than shifting up with a, uh, your foot, you know, because you got to rotate your hand all the way around. I got to get back to, to second. First, so I can make a U-turn. And feed it the beans. Yeah, a little, little two-stroke madness here. Come on, this thing is awesome. You know, that's why I think it's iconic. And it's it's not a it's not by chance that Honda in its cub, when it launched its cub, it kind of modeled this design. Right? And then they used the you meet the nicest people in the world on a Honda slogan and then went on to sell more mo more Honda Cubs than any other motorcycle. It's pretty insane when you think about it. But it was patterned after this design. Step through, nice leg shield, looked very similar to this. I really enjoy this motorcycle. Like I said, it's on my bucket list because of Sears' dominance and their ability to tell people what they, they could do, right? What they had to do if you want to sell through us, right? And I, I think that that's powerful, plus the design of the motorcycle. But more importantly, my, my wife loves them, right? Why not? Why not, uh, why not have a motorcycle that your wife likes, right? I figured out the easiest way to have more, more motorcycles is to always get one that your wife likes. If she thinks it's cute, that's the one you need to buy, right? It may not be the one you ride all the time, but it's the one you have, it's the one you keep the cleanest. That way you have the ability to get more. And so I'm looking forward to spending a little bit of time with this motorcycle, with this Vespa scratching the itch that I have, and um, spending some time with doing the maintenance on it. We made it back, that was a nice easy ride. Okay guys, so there you have it, our walk around of the 1965 Vespa 150. We're going to be spending a little bit more time with it doing, we'll do a couple more videos on it, mainly covering some maintenance and some little things that we have to take care of for, uh, for Gordon. We'll take care of those things and then we'll get it back to him and then we'll be done. Hopefully that'll be enough to scratch the Vespa itch that we have so it'll hold it off for a little while longer. And as always guys, I want to thank you for tuning in and do us a favor, like, tag, share and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind and hit the subscribe button. Thanks again guys and have a great day.